योर क्वेश्चन इज अ कर्व ऑफ इक्वेशन वाई इज इक्वल टू थ्री एक्स प्लस ट्वेल्व बाई एक्स एंड पास थ्रू द पॉइंट ए टू कॉमर ट्वेल्व एंड बी सिक्स कॉमर ट्वेंटी एट ईच ऑफ द पॉइंट सी एंड डी ऑन द कर्व द टेंजेंट इज पैरल टू ए बी फाइंड द कॉर्डिनेट्स ऑफ सी एंड डी फाइंड द इक्वेशन ऑफ परपेंडिकुलर बाई सेक्टर ऑफ सी डी नाउ अंडरस्टैंड दिस दे हैव गिवेन द इक्वेशन दिस एंड दे हैव गिवेन टू पॉइंट दिस एंड दिस by a b we will find out the slope that is your tangent slope so that only we have to find it out so slope that is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 now substitute the value if you substitute the value what we will get we will get here 20 minus 12 by 6 minus 2. So we can say this is equal to 8 by 4. That is equal to 2. Now the slope is 2. Now next, what they have told? See that. At each of the points C and D on the curve, the tangent is parallel to AB. Tangent is parallel to AB. That means it is nothing but your normal. If tangent is this, normal is this. So that means now this is your gradient. of a tangent now we will find out gradient of normal that is nothing but what reciprocal of this and change the sign that means it will be minus 1 by 2 this is the normal slope and this is the tangent slope now see that what next we have to do if we find out the equation of that for that what we need why means they have told ki we have to find out the coordinate of c and d for that we have to first differentiate it so if you differentiate that what you will get so here we will get it dy by dx is equal to d by dx of 3x plus d by dx of 12 by x so now you differentiate it what we will get here we will get 3 and here if this x will go up the power will be minus 1 therefore we will get minus 12 by x square why means the power is minus 1 this minus 1 into 12 is this and minus 1 minus 1 that is your what is that power function so now we will get x square now this is your differentiation now they have told us we have to find out the coordinate of c and d how we will find it out just what we have to do just we have y means this is the differentiation differentiation means this is the gradient if you solve and put the value you will get the gradient or you can say this is the slope that means this is equal to 2 so we have to go for that only 3 minus 12 by x square is equal to 2 now take the lcm so lcm is x square so here we will get 3x square minus 12 that is equal to 2 now go for cross multiplication we will get 3x square minus 12 is equal to 2x square bring this 2x square here 
you will get 3x square minus 2x square is x square. So therefore, we will get x square is equal to 12. So what is your x? So we can say x is nothing but plus minus root over 12. So 12 is nothing but what? 4 into 3. And 4 is the perfect square of 2. So therefore, we will get x is equal to plus minus 2 root 3. So we got the value of x. Now we will find out the value of y. For that, we have to substitute this value where? Here. Our equation that is your y is equal to 3x plus 12 by x. Substitute here. If you substitute, first we have to substitute positive. So we can say x is equal to 2 root 3. So what is your y? So y is equal to 3 into 2 root 3 plus 12 by 2 root 3. Yes. So now, so here 3 into 2 is 6. So we will get y is equal to 6 root 3 plus, now, rationalize it. Rationalize means 2 root 3, just we have to go for root 3 into root 3. Here root 3 will come and here also root 3 will come. So now multiply this, we will get 2 into 3 is 6 down and here it is 12 root 3. This and this will go by 2. So 6 plus 2 is 8 root 3. So x is 2 root 3 and y is 8 root 3. Now we will go for minus of 2 root 3. So here we will take it as x is equal to minus 2 root 3. Again we have to do the same. So y is equal to 3 into minus 2 root 3 plus 12 by minus 2 root 3. This minus will go up now. So here it will come minus 6 root 3 and here it will be same 12 by 2 root 3 that means this one. So it will be now minus 8 root 3. Uh, not minus, this will be your uh, 12 root 3. 12 root 3 by 6. So just cut it, you will get 2. Therefore, we will get minus 8 root 3. Now we got the coordinates. One is this, another is this. So therefore, the coordinate of C and D is what? First, it will come minus 2 root 3, comma, minus 8 root 3. And second is your 2 root 3, comma, 8 root 3. So, these are the coordinates. Next, see that what they have told. Find the coordinate of C and D over, find the equation of perpendicular bisector of CD. Perpendicular bisector. That means it is in the midpoint. So first we will find out the coordinate of the midpoint. So that is nothing but midpoint. That is x1 plus x2 by 2 and y1 plus y2 by 2. So this is your x, this is your y. So now we will get x is equal to minus 2 root 3 plus 2 root 3 is 0. 0 by 2 is 0. So we will get coordinate 0. And y is also 0. Now we have to make the equation. So that is nothing but your normal equation. What is that? Formula is y minus y1 is equal to normal Slope is minus 1 by 2, x minus x1. 
तो दिस इज योर एक्स वन इज जीरो एंड नो वाई एक्स वन इज जीरो एंड वाई इज ऑल्सो जीरो तो देर फोर वी विल गेट वाई इज इक्वल टू वन बाई टू एक्स देर फोर इफ यू गो फॉर क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन यू विल गेट टू वाई इज इक्वल टू एक्स दिस इज माइनस सॉरी माइनस तो यार यू विल गेट माइनस देर फोर वी विल गेट एक्स प्लस टू वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो तो दिस इज योर इक्वेशन वी विल गेट इट बट आई थिंक इन योर टेक्स्ट बुक दे हैव रिटर्न योर फोर दैट इज अ रॉन्ग तो यू कैन गो फॉर दिस 